This story is called A Grouch's Christmas. Written by Michaela Muntean, illustrated by Tom Lay. It was the day before Christmas and Elmo was helping his mother make Christmas cookies. Elmo watched his mother roll out the dough on the countertop. Then he cut out shapes in the dough with cookie cutters and sprinkled them with colored sugar. No, Kitty, you can't be part of the story. Elmo stood in front of the oven door and watched the cookies turn golden brown. When the cookies came out of the oven, Elmo's mother said, You may try one, Elmo, but we have to save the rest for Christmas guests. This year, you are big enough to pass the plate of cookies yourself. Okay, Mommy, and Elmo will tell everyone that Elmo helped make them. Elmo picked out a reindeer-shaped cookie. Mmm, these are good. Cookie Monster will love them. Elmo's mother was putting away the flour and sugar. She glanced out the kitchen window and said, Look, Elmo, it's snowing. Oh, boy! Mommy, may Elmo play outside, please? Yes, dear. Let's put on your coat and boots. Here's a big scarf to tie around your neck. Keep dry and don't stay out too long. Okay, Mommy! And Elmo ran out the door and down Sesame Street to build a snow monster. He saw the footprints that his boots made in the new snow. The snow was as white as fine as the flower Elmo's mother sprinkled on the countertop for the cookie dough. Snowflakes drifted down and clung to Elmo's hat and scarf. He opened his mouth to catch some more. All along Sesame Street, Elmo saw his friends getting ready for Christmas. Ernie and Bert were carrying a Christmas tree. Luis was stringing colored lights in the window of the fix-it shop. Big Bird was decorating a little Christmas tree. Harry Monster had dressed up like Santa Claus, and he was ringing a bell and collecting toys and food for needy families. The Count was counting snowflakes as they fell. One, one beautiful snowflake. Two, two beautiful snowflakes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So many beautiful snowflakes. Wonderful. Merry Christmas, everybody, Elmo shouted. Merry Christmas, Elmo, his friends shouted back. Elmo passed Oscar's trash can. Merry Christmas, Oscar! Hmm, I hate Christmas, said Oscar. Elmo stopped suddenly. He lifted up the ear flaps of his cap and said, Would you please say that again, Oscar? Elmo doesn't think he heard it right. Of course I will. I'll say it again and again. I hate Christmas. I hate Christmas. I hate Christmas. But how could you hate Christmas, Oscar? There's nothing about Christmas to hate. Oh, yes, there is. There's all that ho ho hoing and fa la lying. There's everyone going around smiling and being cheerful and giving each other nice presents. This is the worst time of the year for grouches. Hmm, I guess Oscar is grouchy. Oscar, there are things about Christmas.
Christmas even a grouch would like. Name one, said Oscar. Alma thought about it for a moment. Cookies! Alma just helped Mommy make Christmas cookies. Were they sardine cookies with chocolate icing? Oscar asked. No, they were sugar cookies shaped like stars and Christmas trees and reindeer. Elmo cut them out all by himself. Oscar scowled. Yuck, they sound awful. That's right, Oscar. Elmo will be right back. Elmo is going to find a zillion reasons for Oscar to like Christmas. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere until the holidays are over, grumbled Oscar. And he disappeared inside his trash can and slammed the lid down with a crash. Elmo forgot all about building snow monsters. He went looking for reasons for Oscar to like Christmas. If he couldn't find a zillion, he was sure to find a few. First, Elmo stopped at Big Bird's nest. Elmo told him what he wanted to do. Big Bird said, I've got an idea. I'll meet you at Oscar's trash can in one hour. Next, Elmo stopped to visit Ernie and Bert. They said they'd help too. Elmo stopped to see Harry and then the Count. They all agreed to meet at Oscar's. Elmo raced back home and told his mother what he wanted to do. That sounds disgusting, she said, but she helped anyway. When everything was ready, Elmo hurried to Oscar's can. His friends were there just as they had promised. Merry Christmas, Oscar! Elmo called as he knocked on the trash can lid. Oscar popped up out of his can. I told you I hate Christmas. Elmo laughed. <laughs> and Elmo told you he was going to find a zillion reasons so you would like it. So did you? Oscar asked. No, Oscar, but Elmo found a fairly good few of them. Ernie and Bert handed Oscar a little Christmas tree. It was decorated with old tin cans, orange peels, and bits of raggedy string. That's not a bad looking Christmas tree. You guys decorated it just for me, huh? See, Oscar, said Elmo. That's one thing we can do about Christmas. Well, thanks, you guys. I like to Christmas time because it's a time for families to get together, said Big Bird. Tomorrow is my granny bird. Is She's coming to visit. So? So, maybe Grangetta would come and visit you if you invited her, Oscar, suggested Big Bird. Hmm, said Oscar. That's not the worst idea I've ever heard. Grangetta and I could sit around complaining and grumbling. You see, that's another nice thing about Christmas. It's a time for family to enjoy themselves. Harry said, I like Christmas because it's about sharing and helping others. Today I collected toys and food for families that need them. Tonight Grover and I are going to deliver them. You don't happen to have anything to share, do you, Oscar? Just a minute. Oscar disappeared into his trash can. He came back a few seconds later. Here, maybe someone could use this, said Oscar as 